better. That happens when you get a message in the middle of shooting. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. Happy New Year. Today I have, I, I wanted to go for a very nude look. I've been just taking care of my skin. I haven't done any makeup for quite a while. And I wanted to do this makeup look using the Maven Beauty products and these are from Fashion Over and they gave me a gift card for this and I'm very very grateful. So this is the one called Bold Blend and that's how it looks like. The other one is Define and Define looks like that and it is a little darker. And that's how Define looks like. Then the other one is I got a lipstick called Buena and Buena looks like that. It's kind of like a brownish look. But that's what I, that's what I'm gonna be using, and it's it's it has a magnetic uh, closure. I like that. I also got a brulee, which is a cream eyeshadow, and I'm gonna be using this as a base for my eyeshadow. I already did my eyebrows, and I used Anastasia Beverly Hills the Deep Brow Pomade in Ebony. I also used this Davis number 18, and this is from Kenya. Thank you, Mona Edie. Thank you, girl. And I cleaned up my eyebrows on the bottom. I used the Ellie Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. And then on the top, I used the NARS Concealer Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Dark One Cafe. On the top, top of my eyebrows, I like to use a concealer that's my skin tone. And then on the bottom, I can use one that's a bit lighter. To start off with, what did I say? I'm going to use a brulee. I'm going to use a flat brush to apply this. I'm going to set that base and I'm going to be using the Too Faced powder and this is Born This Way foundation, multi-complexion powder and this is in the shade Chai looks like that. Jesus! Uh, this eye cream eyeshadow base, it seems to really dry quickly so you have to work pretty fast so it doesn't cake your eyeshadow. I hope this does not cake my eyeshadow. I'm gonna start off using, they don't have any names on the back, so I'm just gonna point. I'm gonna start using that eyeshadow right there and I'm gonna use that in my crease. Okay. Seems to be brand, oh wait! Seems to be blending pretty well, smooth. I like the blendability. Is there a word like that? The ability to blend, blendability. Let's do the other side. I'm gonna go to Define, which is this one, which is the darker version. This is this shade right here, and that's how it looks like. And then we have the black. So one looks like a, this looks like a purple, purplish, this one looks like black. I think I'm gonna use this, the, the dark one, the brown right here, to darken the corners of my eye. It's pretty dark. I don't mind it at all. Pack her there real well. I'm gonna grab like a tapered brush like this so I can be able to bring that like inside the socket of my eye. I'm gonna go back out with the eyeshadow base, the brulee, and kind of create, not like a cut crease per se, but pack it on here in the corners of my eye so that at this sh the color that I put on there is gonna show even more. And I'm gonna take this this really really light eyeshadow and see how it looks when it's packed on here. It's literally like the color of the eyeshadow. Then back with her tapered that brush just to blend all that so that I don't have a harsh line. And if you always feel like, like you lost the very first eyeshadow, you can always go back with the brush that I had and put it on the top. I find it easier to look down and stretch kind of your eyelid like this. If you have folds on your eyelids like I do, to kind of like stretch it out and have a smoother surface to work with. Might add a little bit on this side too. And I switched brushes for this one. I went with a bigger flat brush. 
and the brush I'm using right now is from Sigma Beauty. This is the large shader E60 brush. All right, I think I like that better. With makeup, keep improving as you go, and you might see something I did on this eye that you like on this eye. Just go ahead and stick it on the other eye. All right, I'll go back with my tapered brush. Blend, 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 blend. I have dry under eye. I wear an eye cream. I use a Fazali eye cream, and this is the Haldi Eyes. Kind of messy. That's how it looks like. So I just put a little bit before I put any, you know, makeup because we're gonna use concealer, we're gonna use powder, so you don't have that powdery looking skin under your eye. And you need very little. You see how messy it is? I mean, it's a really nice eye cream, but I really wish, I hope it can maybe come in a tube or something. And for my primer, I use the Blur and Smooth for my T-Zone, because that's why I'm oily. I'm gonna use the Hydrate and Smooth, the blue one, for the rest of my face. This is my first time using this primer. I already put some on my T-Zone before I did my eyes so that it can sit there as I'm working on my eyes. I'm gonna put concealer under my eyes. I'm sorry, not under my eyes, like spot conceal before I put the actual concealer. And this one is Juvia's Place and I'm number seven. Got this over summer. I don't know if this is gonna work because I think I might have become a bit lighter. And I just put concealer in areas that you know I wanna really conceal. Yeah, this might be a pad too dark for me at this time of the year. So I'm gonna take that off. As much as I hate using wipes. Now that changes the whole game. I don't even know now what foundation to use. I'm gonna use Mented Cosmetics. This is a stick foundation and I'm M30. And let's see if this works uh, for me at this time. I love Mented Cosmetics. It's like skin completely. I'm gonna highlight my concealer that I'm gonna use is Juvia's Place. This is the number six. Normally put it right there. I put a little bit. Damp Beauty Blender. Because I put that eye cream so it's, it doesn't look too dry. So I'm gonna set that. Again, I'm gonna use a Too Faced on This Way foundation in Chai. Yeah, this is a Milani brush. I'm gonna put a little bit of contour. Uh, and this one again, this is from Juvier's and this is number two. I'm gonna use my beauty blender. Oh, wait, that is too much. <laughs> I look crazy, I know, but hang on, I'll fix it. Still quite dark. Yeah, so what I'm discovering is these are my summer shades. These are definitely not my winter shades. What I've done is I went in and removed all that, the Juvia's Place, the, that very dark concealer that I had. I was using it as my bronzer, uh, not bronzer, as my contour. And I just went back in with the Mented Foundation and I just put it all over my face again just to fix that correction. And obviously I need something lighter for this time of the year when it's, it's not so hot. I'm gonna leave it at that and move on to hair. Let's do this hair. I'm not gonna powder my face. I'm just gonna let all that settle in first. So we're gonna go to my hair to remove these twists. And this is a hair growth mist. And this is from Jeannie Love and she is based in Kenya. And this is what I used to twist. No, this is a growth hair mist. I love this thing. And then the hair growth butter, which I use as a curling butter for my twists. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray this on my hair. Hydrate them a bit before I untwist. I'm going to get some of the, the butter. Let's kind of apply it on there again. Kind of use it to untwist it because I don't want any freeze. 
I'm going, I'm feeling where the fold of the twisted is so that I don't create any freeze. That looks good. God, I love this mist. Actually, I think I would put it every day because it has some pretty good oils. Uh, she does a pretty good job with this thing. All right, so I'm gonna untwist my whole hair and I will be back. So this is how my hair looks looks like with all the, with the twist out done. I actually have to say I'm impressed. It, it did keep the curls pretty well. Now I have not un removed the curls, like I have not separated them. I'm kinda nervous to do that because I don't know how this is gonna look like, but I'm gonna attempt to do it and then um, I'll be back with a final look. I went ahead and did my eyes. I put my eyeliner on the top, my eyelashes. Top, good Lord. I went ahead and wore my eyeliner and I used the Inglot eyeliner. And if you're in Kenya, I got this from the 25th Hive. And I also put uh, the bottom the bottom lashes. I used a black eyeliner, just a regular one. And then I went ahead and I put in the new, the Maven Beauty, I used this shade right here. And I used that to put it on the on my bottom lid. So I don't know if you guys know, but Adele came out with aqua lashes. And these lashes, they say you just dip them in water, just regular water, uh, for like 10, 12 seconds, you hold it in there, and then the lash itself should have some adhesive to it. So it says no adhesive needed, just dip and apply. And I was curious to see how this will work on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and I'm allergic to latex. So they say the band is latex free, which is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And these are number 345. So that's how they look like. Uh, I'm going to do exactly what they said on their Instagram page. That's interesting. They, they are folded back there. And they said you cut off these edges right here. Focus. Do you see those sharp edges? So I'm going to take those off. I said it's the same length as my eye. This is what they said you do. Dip this. This is really like a lid with water. And they say dip it in and hold it in there for a few seconds. I'm gonna put it in there and we will see. Sorry, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm holding the lash inside the water for a few seconds. The only way to know if this really works is by wearing them and hopefully they stick on my eyes all day. That worked actually. But the corner is not doing what I want it to do. Oh my god, that actually worked. Now oh, maybe I didn't put it close enough to my eye. Like make sure the whole band is immersed in water. We'll see how long those hold. But I have to say they're comfortable as usual with Adele lashes. I got mine at CVS. I'm gonna finish off my face and I'm gonna use the Micro Smooth, <laughs> the Sephora. Micro Smooth Baked Powder, and this is in the shade Deep. I separated this one here, just one. And then I have a little bit of freezed hair, but whatever, that's the natural hair. I, sh I got the shade Buena from the gift card they sent me. And Buena is, um, hmm, interesting. It's, it's like, I thought it would be brown. It looks brown on there, but that is a shade it comes out. So I don't know if I'm gonna need a lip liner with this. Uh, okay, it's, it's pretty natural looking. I might add a gloss on top. I'm gonna use this lip liner. This is from NYX and this is Hot Cocoa. I'm gonna add some gloss. I'm gonna wear the Ginger Snap. To finish everything, I'm gonna use the Morphe Spray Setting Mist. God, I love this thing. Whew, you're like my fan. <laughs> I love my African colors. Mm. One thing, I forgot. Ooh. I'm using the highlighter and this is from Thrive Cosmetics and this is in the shade Dawn. I uh, usually don't like a very bright highlighter. A lot of those people could go without a highlighter. I don't really care for it. Sometimes you'll see me not wearing them in my makeup tutorials because either I forgot or I just don't feel like wearing one. This has a very subtle glow right here. 
you so much guys for sticking out with me and for seeing all the mishaps of wearing makeup you know when you wear them and it doesn't come out the way you want it to come out oh well that is part of the process um, and again the hair I really like the Genie product these guys they do such a good job she does a very 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 uh, she does a very very good job with her hair products uh, the hair mist I can use this stuff every day so th again, thank you so much, guys. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to others. Bye. And these are the... Why do I keep looking down? Let's do this again. Ah! Ay, ay, ay. That was... That was... That was...